The circular Sankey chart with clustered inflows and outflows is pretty time consuming to build from scratch. So instead we can use this template and replace the data source with our own to maintain the dashboard structure. And the nice thing is this only takes a few minutes. And I have the link for the dashboard in the description. So you can download and try this out on your own. The first thing I'll do is go to the data tab at the top and choose a new data source. And I'll be using an Excel data source. And the sheet I want to use is called Sankey New Data, so I'll drag that in. And to replicate the structure of a Sankey chart, I need to drag that in again underneath to union it. And here you can see we have different names for our fields. Segment will be our source field, company size will be our target field, and revenue will be our metric. To replace these field names, I'm gonna to go to our Sankey worksheet, and I'll right click on our source field and rename it to be segment. I'll do the same thing for target and rename it to be the company size. And lastly, instead of metric, I'll rename it to be revenue. This way, when we replace the data source, it doesn't have trouble finding our new data source field names because they already exist within the template. To replace the data source, I'll right click on our template data source and choose replace data source. It already figured out that the only other data source on here is what I want to replace it with, so then I'll hit OK. And now you can see instead of source A, B, C, we actually have segment values in there. It did flip the order of our values and colors, so you can either go back to the Sankey worksheet, right click on segment, and clear the sort, and do the same thing for company size. And for the bars, I'll go to the source worksheet, right click on segment, and clear the sort. Then I'll go to the target worksheet, right click on company size, and clear the sort. Alternatively, if you were okay with the order that it was in, you can edit the color in the legend to flip the colors around. And that's also how you would change the colors if you wanted to. To get this fishbowl looking shape, I use an image of a circle with a transparent inside. But because it's an image laid on top of our Sankey, we can't use the tooltip within the Sankey. But if seeing the values that each path represents is important to your analysis, you can remove the circle image and you'll have access to the tooltips that I've already built in here. So now when I hover over a path, I can see the segment it's coming from and the company size it's going to, and also the value that's represented by the size of that path. And I can also hover over one of the values in the bars and see the total amount of revenue for that segment or category.